Hello, English 11, 14 students. I thought I would take this time to introduce myself visually so that you can see who the, uh, sometimes I feel like the, the um, magician in The Wizard of Oz, the person behind the screen pulling all the, the strings, strings. But it's just me, Mary Petrie, and I'll be your instructor for the next 16 weeks. Um, I, I have a bad cold, so please forgive that, and I didn't want to wait to introduce myself until I'm better. I thought I would take this time, a short two-minute video, to talk about why I picked these books. The class itself is structured. The requirements are that we really unpack and understand a narrative. And um, one of the things that I've noticed is that students, people, me, everyone, we all know ourselves best and we like to think about ourselves, to write about ourselves, to write what we know. And actually, writing what we know is the first rule in creative writing. You, you write what you know. But sometimes there's a problem, and because we might be able to write what we know, but we don't have kind of the external tools to analyze that. And I'll give you a good example of this. Um, so I, in 2003, I had carcinoid cancer. Carcinoid cancer is a, a very, very rare, very deadly cancer and I recovered and I'm just fine and it won't come back. Um, and I, but I am not an expert on carcinoid cancer. I can't speak with authority, expertise, confidence, with science behind me, with data about carcinoid cancer. That doesn't diminish my own personal experience, which was very scary um, and very emotional. And I'm an expert on that emotional experience for sure, but I'm not an expert on carcinoid cancer. So just because we have experience with something doesn't mean we have the expertise or authority to be an authoritative source about that thing. Does that make sense? Um, so you get married, but do you know the history and the institution and the bureaucratic background of marriage? Probably not. One of the, this is what Nap does so brilliantly. And I thought if you are interested in writing about your own experiences and understanding those experiences more broadly, this is a model. Because she talks about her own alcoholism and anorexia, not in terms of I suffered, I starved, I drank, you know, personal terms. We get some of that, but we get that in context with a larger look at these issues and and focus on why women may experience these things differently than men. So I love how she takes personal experience, but doesn't just drop that, but instead try, seeks to understand and become more of an authority and an expert on her experience. And sentence by sentence, it's a beautiful book, very well written, they both are. And one of the other things that I thought I'd say is that I want you to start looking around for narrative. We're going to talk about this a lot in D2L, but we've got many narratives going on in the political race, strong anti-immigration, anti-Islam. Um, those two seem to dominate, don't they? So, you know, and what do those narratives, how are those narratives being deployed? Through motion, through logic, through data? It is safe to say the narratives I just mentioned aren't being deployed through data or logic. So anyway, um, that's it. I just want to talk about the books, say hello, give you a person behind the prose, and I'm really excited about our work together. Thanks.